Pads again coming from Cumberland. Some 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 promotions don't allow them, some do. Uh, if he's a kicker, it's gonna be to his advantage because he's gonna have some strong kicks. There we go to Teep. So he is gonna play that long game scores moving. Good to see some teeps. Thai boxers use teeps the way boxers use jabs. Yep. It's a good way of just maintaining the distance, trying to find range, and also to keep your opponent just at that range you want him. So this is what we're talking about when we talk about countering style. It's akin to, uh, we're saying uh, K1 versus Muay Thai. And I just mentioned that because a lot of gyms do a mixture of both. Uh, he, you can go back, Cumberland can go back and win this whole match. If he goes back and does what he's doing now, he's scoring and he's moving, well, that was 50-50. But like that, if he keeps hitting and moving and not getting hit, he'll win the match. This is the first time we've seen maybe a little bit more of a chess game. See, a couple of times. We have seen Bradley go to the body, trying to bring that guard down, and then come over the top. That's two very good long knees, which is time. That's uh, that's exceptional work. That type of long knee, he's actually setting up traps. We'll also see him do a little twitch, a little right hip twitch. That's the first time we've seen fakes. He's faking between a knee and a kick and a teep. So his ingress is different. He changes his approach, which I like. And it's the first time I can really make a notable distinction of the movement. He's implementing very smart lateral movement. That's beautiful. So we said he's the archetypical height for that weight, this tall and lean. And this is the archetypical style. So he seems to be the, a good package. The switching stance as well. Beautiful switch to the step in me. What he's doing there was what we call a long knee heel. Leverage his body back so he doesn't get caught with a hook or a punch and he just has to have exceptional timing to, to express that knee straight down to the abdomen. But I love it with that teep. He's attacking that abdomen. Nice work from Bradley to the body. Neat. He came a little bit undone. Look, again comes the boxing defense. Let's see who the clinch favors in this position. Big shot over the top again from Bradley. So a great round with a knee. If it's Muay Thai like this, you're going to have to clinch. So I would say Cumberland would clinch. When he gets in close, do not let Bradley hit them close range hooks. And that's exactly what Bradley should. Get in close. Do not give Cumberland the distance. There we go. Uh, body head work. Very smart from Bradley. Bradley needs to swing out of that corner. Now again, the pro to this style is Cumberland, very uh, attractive style for the judges. Hit, don't get hit. Uh, the negative, the con to that is it's a tiring style. If if we can see both fighters, Bradley get into that last round, it could be his advantage. I'd say the way things are going now, Bradley uh, has a better chance the more this fight goes on. Still big press being taken there by Bradley. You can see he's trying to land that shot over the top. Would like to see him get a little bit closer. Might have to sacrifice a shot in order to land that shot yeah, over the top. Yeah, good point. I think definitely he might have to take something on the guard and come over the top right hand. He's doing a good job of working the body, trying to open up that shot to, over the top. Body with the right hand, trying to come over the top with the left. Absolutely. There we go. Roy hook to the body. Again, it's going to be something orthodox that might win this for Bradley. And if he wishes to maintain at the 70 kilo class, this is the, this is the type of fight he's going to have to get used to fighting body types like this. I would say he has fought most of his sparring partners and most people are probably this height. So this is where he seems to be coming on a little bit more. As I said, his style favors longevity within the round. That's a solid kick to the body from Bradley. And again, we see the straps on the shin pads. The referee wouldn't be surprised if he stops. You see them falling down as well. Mark, why would a fighter prefer the, the, the sock type shins as opposed to the traditional uh, the, the traditional thicker? Less, less padding. But again, the, the advantage to that is if you're a strong kicker and you have strong shins, yeah. you're going to have more hurtful kicks. But then the negative is you're also susceptible. If your shins aren't conditioned, you're going to have bruises and hematomas and all sorts. So it depends on the fighter. Uh, my style was uh, I like kicking. I like kneeing. So uh, it's off the table. And that is he's not going to win this on points. I think he's behind on this. And he just needs to march forward, take one on the guard, figure out the timing, and let it go. He 
He's eating some big shots there to open, but again. There we go. There's the boxing. Nice body shot. And you would wonder, is Bradley coming from a traditional boxing background just oh, with the frequency he's choosing here? Absolutely. There's certain things he's doing. The way he's, a, a hook to the body is an unnatural skill set to have unless you box. Even in Thai boxing, it doesn't look natural. If a Thai boxer has no formal boxing training, the hook looks awkward. Mm. It's very clean and very natural. It's very for neat. It has a natural pat mm. to the target. Uh, I'd be very surprised if he doesn't have a kickboxing or a boxing background. Again, but this is where Bradley has to walk forward. He has to go forward. He's... he's we can see though with Cumberland, he's very adaptive. He's able, he's fit, and he's able to change it up between the clinch and striking. He has a style that allows him to switch it up, which is very good. Right in front of us now, another big shot over the top from Bradley. It's interesting, I generally find that when you see fighters when they reach their absolute fatigue point, they will regress or implement their best shot. And we can see Bradley throw a right hook. I wouldn't be surprised if Bradley has a few right hook finishes in his fighting career. He seems to uh, go back to that one shot, which still is dangerous. And again, he's still finding the body here. The big knees from come down. Again, he needs to walk forward and close that gap. That's what the kicker wants. That's an ideal distance for Cumberland. There That's we go. A good shot. You can see them. Oh, again, susceptible to the head kick. You can see it might be a little, a, too little, too late. But the final Absolutely. couple of hooks he threw there, he was rolling into them as opposed to just trying to set it up with a big one-headed quitter. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Wigmanson once again go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All judges have scored the bout to turn the winner.